With me now is uh, Nathan Thorley. Um, Nath, you were meant to be boxing tonight. Um, can you just tell the viewers why you're not? Um, well, I had one opponent from London, uh, a guy called Tyrone Williams. Um, he didn't get his blood into the board on time, so that fight didn't happen. Um, and I was meant to fight the foreign opponent, but I don't think he got on a plane, to be honest. Um, I've, just, I've had a bit of a bad luck, run of luck, but um, it's getting a bit better now. But I'm fighting next week. I've been Bethnal Green, London, so fingers crossed I'll, uh, I'll, I'll actually have an opponent then. <laughs> I mean, myself in particular, and I'm sure lots of other fans and boxing people were interested in seeing how you'd cope and how you'd look as, as a cruiserweight. So obviously we're not going to see tonight, but um, how are you coping with the extra weight in, in the gym and with, with your training? I'm over the moon with it. Um, I'm not struggling anymore. I'm not. I'm not dieting to kill myself to get down to light heavyweight. I'm punching a lot harder. I'm boxing a lot neater with um, under the instruction of Gary Lockett. Um, I just feel a, a, a hundred times better fighter than what I was, and I can't wait to actually show people what I've what I've been doing and what I've been working on. I mean, how, how difficult a decision was it for yourself? And I suppose you, you obviously discussed it with Gary about yep. moving up in weight because obviously. Boxers generally try and keep their weight as low as possible, and, and the gap between light heavy and cruiser is the biggest jump of all the weight divisions. So, I mean, I mean, how, how did you come to that conclusion? Um, well, I'm a big guy anyway. I'm not exactly a small guy. I'm six foot four and a half. Um, to make twelve seven, the last five six pound was killing me. I'd have to sauna it off, sweatsuit it off. It, it wasn't good, like, and I felt I didn't feel great. Um, but now I put the weight on. Um, I've been with a strength and conditioning coach, Ash Lewis, um, for a couple of weeks, and we've been working hard with him. And to be fair, the weight, the weight is, is really good, and it's helping me in the ring, in the gym. Like I've been sparring with the bigger boys, like Sadorian Darch, um, Charlie Sickle, who's a tough Thai fighter, who's a, who's a cruiserweight as well. And where these boys, I'd be on the back foot all the time, struggling with them. I'm not struggling anymore. I'm holding a scent in the ring, or you know, it's 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 not. It's not one-way traffic all the time now. It's I'm, I'm the boss kind of thing. For people who don't know, Dorian Darch is probably Wales is one of Wales's best heavyweights. He yeah. shared a ring with yeah. Anthony Joshua, Dubois, and a number of other top yeah. guys. So, I mean, what was it like getting hit by Dorian in the sparring? Was there any exchanges? <laughs> um, let's put it this way: he doesn't tickle. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I got caught with a right hook, I believe, or a left hook, and um, I went back to the corner, and then he said to me, "Ah." Oh, why did you get it by that for? I said, oh, I just wanted to feel what it was like. And uh, I didn't take another one, I can tell you that one. <laughs> yeah, he does, uh, he does hit that hard, to be fair to Don, he wings him in. <laughs> so, I mean, obviously the extra weight, I mean, Dorian's, I'm guessing, around 17 stone or so. Yeah. And you, know, you were used to boxing guys around the 13 stone mark after the weigh-in, I guess. I mean, even in the clinches and you're pushing each other around, does it feel different? No, nope. it doesn't. Um, since I put the weight on, like I've been a, I've been a cruise weight now for around the weight to ten months, so the weight has sat on me. I feel good. I feel strong. I feel powerful. I haven't lost my sharpness as well. Um, so I'm just looking forward to getting in the ring and <laughs> and chasing these titles because you know the Arakoli now have relinquished the British and Commonwealth titles, so it's it's there for the taking, and I'm ready. I'm ready for whoever wants a bit. <laughs> I mean, what sort of weight do you walk around at when you're? Sort of in between fights, or you know, you're a few months or so away from a fight. Um, I'm probably walking around about 15 and a half stone to may to maybe 16 stone. You know, like I said, I'm I'm not I'm not the smallest of guys. You know, I'm, I'm nearly six foot five. I'm a broad guy, so it's I think carrying that extra bit of weight will help, will help me now in uh, in the cruiserweight division and have some devastating knockouts, hopefully. <laughs> Okay, then Nathan, good to catch up with you, mate. Um, disappointed not to watch you fight, and obviously the light's just gone out of my camera, so hopefully it hasn't <laughs> spoiled the interview. The, uh, was it like a little and large? <laughs> so uh, good luck. To, uh, well, good luck next, next week, week. and um, I'll catch much. up with you in the future. I'll see you soon. Cheers, mate.